the uh, ever famous Type 83. I think we could see. I can't tell. Yeah, the little the little dots inside the tube is mercury, right? And if we look right here, it's like a, a little metal envelope. This is where the mercury was stored during the construction of the tube. And I get I guess when they they heat it up with the coil to flash it, uh, it it leaks out or bursts out, and then the mercury splashes into the tube, and then it's forever there, and then it becomes a mercury vapor tube as part of the construction process. You could see the mercury condensed on the uh, walls of the glass, right? And we'll see what happens when that heats up there. Is there a nice shot of the uh, metallic mercury? My 912 was not ready for a show by any means, but this is all I got to test that 83 tube. So I'm bringing it up now. I was able to get the settings to test the 83 tube, so I'm gonna have to set that up right quick. And here we go. I've got the tube heating up now, and you'll see that as the filaments start to glow, which is just barely visible, we can see that at the very bottom, at the base of the tube, it's starting to turn a frosty white as the, the mercury heats up and it turns into a vapor. And that, that vapor is now starting to turn the entire uh, glass envelope white. Right, and it's no longer translucent. We can see that effect is making its way through the entire tube, and it's 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 not clear anymore. And eventually, it'll, it'll start to get clear as it gets hotter. But this is very interesting, and this is the mercury vapor now that's used as part of this rectifier. So I thought that was kind of cool. I wanted to show that whole process. Getting just about the same reading on both sides. That, that's a good sign, right? Yeah, so very happy with that. There's B. There's C. That concludes the 83 testing. I believe the 83 is actually doing pretty good.